So today we're gonna see something that is bridging the old world, the on-premise world and Signal 4. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have a look how Signal 4 can be integrated um, with MicroFocus Operations Manager I. We will um, kill a process on a OMI monitor host and then we will receive a signal in our Signal 4 app. Go. Okay, so, so Rene is down there killing the process. Now he's back. <laughs> the process is killed. But it's real time. It's real time. It's real time. Isn't that amazing? That is absolutely awesome. fantastic. Here it is. So we can actually browse some details from the event in OMI. We can see it here in the Signal 4 mobile app. Can check out what has happened, what's the effect that... Um, system etc what's the process name and then it's important to take ownership right so that's the easiest way actually to get um, alerts uh, events from uh, OMI yeah. to your uh, mobile on call duty workforce wherever you are it's handled it has been moved to my confirmed um yeah queue fantastic so i can actually cool and everybody in the team knows now Renee is taking care it's very transparent all members in the team see that um, and um, so that's the easiest extension uh, for mobile alerting you can do for OMI. So um, how have you actually done it? So how, how, how did you... Do we want to have a look? Yeah, so let's, let's have a look how you actually implemented it. So first of all, what I've done is um, under administration and there is a section connected servers. And here you have to create a new server for Signal 4. Yeah, so this is what I've already done. So you would actually click on new here, uh, then enter the name Signal 4. And um, I have done it, so I will choose Edit to show you some details. And once that view loaded, um, you can see there are some scripts that we can actually set up here for the server um, for Signal 4. And when we click Manage Scripts, and we can see the scripts that uh, we've created and assigned to that server. And there's only one um, script that really matters here, which is um, named Signal 4. And what there's that script does is it, it's forwarding events from, from OMI um, to our um, webhook actually, to our Signal 4 webhook, um, yeah, to your team. So you would actually ensure that the proper team URL um, to your webhook is entered here and then off you go and that stuff um, will be displayed in your, in your app as you've seen. Um, but that script would need to be triggered for a yeah for a certain amount of e e um, events. So you would only want to forward, let's say, critical items, right? Not the informational ones. And this is what you do with a event forwarding rule. So we can have a look at that one as well. So there's a rule that I've named forward high severity and open events to Signal 4, right? Not mm -hmm. informational stuff, um, these kind of things. Um, so here we can actually also open the details and then you can see there is a filter that you can set for all these events popping up in your event perspective in the mm -hmm. event browser and here on the details you can see that I have um, set a yeah, filter um, that includes only the critical major and stuff, right? I see. Uh, but you could also communicate other lifecycle status other life cycle, and other events. Yeah. And, okay. Fantastic. So you can actually do a lot of things here to set the criteria mm -hmm. um, that will then invoke that script. So uh, event forwarding, forwarding rule, the server plus the script. Plus the script. Okay. Where, where can where can uh, everybody get the script? Yeah, you can get the script um, from our GitHub site, uh, the Signal 4 GitHub site. So we will publish it there and then um, you can take it from there and add it to your OMI instance. Fantastic. So how, easy. how long does it take to set it up? Like five minutes? Um, with some instructions that we put on our GitHub um, site, then I guess 15 minutes. That's pretty be cool. That <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> great. Great. So give it a try and uh, see how you can um, complement your OMI installation with uh, Signal 4.